Starting temperature, 28 degrees. 28 degrees. Starting mileage. 43, 449.8. 43449.8. Okay, today is gonna to be a short ride, most likely because I'm seeing wet spots all over the road here, so I think it's gonna be up to the shopping center and back again. So the subject I wanted to talk about before that uh, in my last two videos I kept saying I was gonna talk about, but I ran out of time blabbing about other stuff. I'm gonna get straight to this time. It's the subject of, ooh, ice patches. <laughs> it's the subject of um, if you're an animal owner like I am and uh, you obviously care about your animals and uh, want them to receive proper veterinary care when they're sick or uh, not feeling well. One uh, problem that every animal owner has to face, I don't know why, but I'm getting wind in my helmet from a strange place I don't remember getting before. I don't know how it's getting in here. I hope it's not affecting the microphone. Is uh, the animals can't really tell you what's wrong. So you're kind of stuck with just uh, noticing something is different about their behavior or whatever, but you have uh, no clue about if they're hurting or how they're hurting or where they're hurting, anything like that. So um, since I actually did a report on my weekly science show once about brain patterning and how good it's getting with human beings now to where you can take a uh, brain scan of somebody looking at different objects and then uh, later if they're shown a series of images or look at a movie or something like that that has those similar objects in it, you can actually match up. So you're basically, uh, in a crude way, you're able to actually decipher what they are thinking. I mean, not exact words or sentences or anything like that. So I'm wondering if for the next step, what they could end up doing is uh, mapping different pain centers if they haven't done this already. And I, I may be uh, way behind because I'm certainly no neuroscientist, but if they could actually map the places in the brain where you receive pain, there's got to be a, a difference, I would think, if you're uh, having pain in your leg versus pain in your arm. And if they can do a good enough job, they could probably tell whether it was your left or right arm, stuff like that, just by uh, brain mapping. I would think that that would be pretty easy with technology nowadays so why not the same thing with animals where if your cat or your dog is obviously stopped uh, behaving the same way and you suspect something is wrong what they could do is put some type of a device and I mean that's the other problem too I mean obviously maybe with a, a trained dog you would probably have better luck but with a cat it would probably be a little more difficult but somehow get a trained device on their head to measure their brain waves so that if they were suffering, you could at least narrow it down to the area. You know, is it their, uh, somewhere in their head or neck? Is it one of their legs, their tail, something like that? You could at least uh, narrow down the focus of where to look for the problem rather than having to do a complete general scan of everything. And it could also translate to human beings too. I mean, you, it would equally be effective for that because you have human beings that are various levels of incapacitation and they can't necessarily communicate where things hurt and maybe it's a uh, brain damage from birth or an accident or something like that later to where you lose a lot of your ability to communicate but yet why have that person just so that they can't communicate suffer in pain all the time if you could put some kind of a sensor helmet on their head and you could actually get a really good idea of the location that pain is coming from. So anyway, that was my general thought about that. And uh, as far as the polar bear challenge, I'm uh, now up to my 12 rides. That was my goal. And then I'll see if uh, the weather and the roads cooperate to where I can get a few more rides in. I think for our team, we're up to uh, 25 with me and Muzzle Mike for Team Viking 
and he's been doing a good job too of uh, cranking out the videos for the team so <laughs> appreciate that of course it does help that he has that special ability with the knobby tires and the uh, dual sport bike that he can ride in conditions I can't possibly do with my cruiser bike and street tires and we're coming in on uh, what is it now Got one week in January to about three more weeks left I'm guessing yeah about three more weeks left in the polar bear challenge <laughs> Everybody's been doing a really good job. I really appreciate the effort everybody has made. The judges, the G9, and the stats guy. Everybody working on the stickers, the uh, design, stuff like that. Heather doing our design again this year. Muzzle Mike's wife, Michelle, doing the uh, Etsy thing for the stickers. And be sure, if you do want a sticker and you want to purchase one, um, the link to the Etsy page, go to the uh, go to the tab marked links and that'll take you right to the Etsy page. I believe the stickers are 350 each, which is way better than 550 each plus the handling charges and everything they used to hit us with on that uh, Cafe Express. so much better deal. And uh, like I said before, at the end of the thing, if you did your three qualifying rides and your uh, you send me a request I will uh, send you at least one sticker for free that'll be uh, I'll cover that cost on that one and then if you want additional besides that um, I would urge you to buy from the Etsy store ending mileage 4.3 4.5 2.7 Four three four five two point seven.